Hello guys, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel. I'm glad to see you back. Guys, you can see I have a new air gun. This is bolt action SMK QB78 Deluxe. It's 5.5 millimeters, 22 caliber. You see here, it's wood, wood stack. It is powered by CO2 cartridges. These cartridges are added here. You unscrew the weight of this gun. 2.9 kilograms cap. You put two cartridges here inside and then screw it back. This is great gun. Have open sides with fiber optics here and rear one have vintage ele elevation and uh, up and down. So with this bolt uh, you go up and down for distance and here you change vintage elevation. You can see it's bolt action rifle, single shot rifle. If you put here, you put here pellet, and then you shoot. Trigger, it's one stage trigger. It's adjustable. As well here have safety. If you put safety here, it's somehow it's hard to engage it. So it's better when it's here, and you change it and then you fire. So you can see, look, nothing is happening, but if I open it fire, then we have fire. So it's a very great gun. Trigger guard, it's metal, rubberized back. So you put two CO2 cartridges here. These two CO2 cartridges, it's around 50, 50 shots from this gun as well. This, this gun have aftermarket a lot of things that can be upgraded. You can do some upgrades to this one. So this is my plan with this gun. So guys, shall we? Oh yeah, guys, of course. I have few things here. So let's convert this gun to a PCP. So I have tube here and as well, what I want to do as well, I have another bolt, guys. So look here. This bolt, we will disassemble this gun, so you will see. This bolt is different one like this one. So this one made from stainless steel and this should improve power of this gun. So as well, guys, it's this gun have good accuracy and I will add, you can see this target and as well what I have for this one have a scope so I'm planning as well to add this scope here. Guys, did you subscribe to my channel? Not yet? Do it now, it's free. Shall we start guys? Let's go! Okay guys, so let's disassemble first this gun and then we will go forward. So first if you want to disassemble this gun, be sure that it's empty, of course. I will just open it, yeah, so you can see it's empty. First thing, you need to remove this safety. We will need some tools, just basic tools that you can find at your home. You need to push from this side this safety. So to do it, that it will be better. Put it in on a safe position. Uh, once I open, I will show you why. So, so you can turn it here in a safe position, and we just take it here and just push. It's nothing hard, so you can see. Now, guys, you can see why. Because look, let me remove this one. When it's in a safe position, this part and this pin, it's up, so you can push it. But if it's in fire position, you will not be able, you will not be able to push, because this pin, it's coming here inside, and you will not be able to remove this safety. Remove this one as well. So, it's hard. And 
just gently go up side and in this way we removed stock from action so this is trigger where it is and let's try guys now to disassemble it first thing let's remove these two two bolts and then remove trigger just take screwdriver put bolts outside okay this is long one because it's going through two these sides three tubes two tubes this is end cap and here as well and this is a trigger part later we will disassemble and adjust it yes guys so here we have three bolts so once we will open it i will show you how it, it is inside okay so now we have removed trigger now we need to remove this barrel yes with screwdriver unscrew this ring let me remove it this bolt as well so we removed this ring here we have one uh, bolt inside as well let me try to find this key okay guys so now we need to unscrew this small screw uh, it's with hex key 2.5 so just simple as it is remember safe to do not lose this this small screw and now if you want to remove barrel and here we have o-rings so to do it safely you just take one bolt same size and polish it here then screw it inside not till the end but leave some tolerance here because what will happen if you will just pull it will go inside this hole and then you will broke it so gently with some slow movements let's try to remove this barrel okay with small movements yeah, slowly slowly let's remove it what i told you yes it's about this so if i would not put this bolt here then oh look what happened you see this part it's already not sealing yeah and how it's working this gun this air gun so here we have receiver here we have a valve valve through this here we have from this side co2 is coming on barrel through this hole and then i will disassemble bolt so you will see as well how it's how it's bolt made okay now let's put this here so let's remove these sides later we will not use it and let's do it now so to have it done already so how to remove sides just unscrew this bolt rear one and then we need to push so just we need to push gently this pin and like it you can see 
and we have pin outside two screws small screws here i will remove it now and then we can we'll be able to remove this ring yep as well we have front one no screw now guys let's look inside the barrel you can see rifle links it seems to be okay now let's continue so now if we want to remove this top i will remove this screw here it was under barrel okay so here we have bolt inside and we have one pin and this is another pin so let's remove hammer what we have inside and spring so this is a spring and this is hammer now guys look like i told you before so this is hole through where uh, co2 coming and it's going through this hole from barrel hole as well here and then when you shoot air it's coming so let's try to remove this one so now let's remove this uh, bolt as well before to remove bolt we should with same key inside we need to remove this we need to remove bolt one okay so you can see it's longer So remove this and now we have bolt disassembled. Why I have decided to do this upgrade? To improve as well a little bit. So you can see they're both the same. But what you can see here, you have this small hole but air is coming from here, from reservoir. Through this hole it's coming and then pushing pellet through barrel and look this hole as well it's very small and here you have a lot of, re of resistance let me mirror this hole so it's around three millimeters and we have 5.5 millimeters here we have 5.5 so you can see these are very thick and this is why we don't have too much air here but this one will give more air here through these all these parts we have this tube it came already with valve installed and let's look here i will remove this okay so you can see how small it is this hole it's around three millimeters so here we have this hole but on this one it's bigger it's around five millimeters so from three millimeters we're going five millimeters so we will improve with two millimeters bigger hole here so more air a little bit more energy will give this one as well it's pcp yeah so it's not regulated thank you guys for being with me in today's video if you liked it like share subscribe comment below stay tuned and see you next one bye bye